Hello world and hello everybody. This is again Alex signing in to give you the latest news about EOS and other currencies. All right. I hope everyone who's watching there is having fun and do, having a great day today. All right. Because it's a great day. Don't forget to always smile guys. All right. Smile and take in positivity. All right, so for, day, for today's news, guys, this is brought to you by PCN, or Preferred Currency News. Now, um, for breaking news, we have two for today. Everyone is the bank. Blockchain Network allows anyone to launch their own coin. And the second news for today is CoinFloor becomes first exchange, exchange license under groundbreaking Gibraltar legislation. All right, so before we start, I want to give you a reminder or I want to let you know that here in EO's uh, Marketplace News, we are not financial advisors, all right? Uh, we are just here to give you the latest news and updates about currencies. And if you like to um, invest in something or if you want to do a move um, regarding this matter, I, we highly recommend that you do your own research and then you can decide for yourself, okay? Because every token or every coin that we will be mentioning in our videos or that we already mentioned in our videos, we also did a research about it. So I believe that you like to do your own research and decide for yourself. All right. So for our news today, Everyone is the bank. Blockchain Network allows anyone to launch their own coin. Now, a new blockchain network believes its platform offers the next step from Bitcoin, speeding up transaction times and giving crypto enthusiasts the chance to change between different digital currencies with ease. All right, so... In a bid to reduce the delays that some transactions on blockchain face, Minter claims it can process them in 5 seconds flat, meaning thousands of transactions per second can be completed without delays or additional confirmations. Good to know. Minter hopes to stand head and shoulders above the competition by giving anyone the opportunity to create their very own cryptocurrency and set a price for it. These coins can be exchanged for other assets including Bitcoin and Ethereum in addition to fiat currencies such as US dollars. Now the startup claims that all of these is achieved with a transaction fee that's below $0.01 and it hopes to drive forward its offering through a large community of users and developers who are in, uh, who are in, who are invested in helping the platform thrive. There are three main goals. Minter says it has been established with a triad of objectives in mind. Firstly, it wants to ensure users have access to an easy-to-own cryptocurrency that is optimized for everyday use. The company has also concocted the irresistible notion that everyone is the bank, meaning anyone can issue and manage their own currencies. Mentor also prioritizes liquidity and says every coin should have instant and absolute liquidity. Yes, it should have, right? Okay, at the beating heart of Minter is a native token known as Blockchain Instant Payment, or we call BIP, as well as having a lot of competitive advantages over common coins. The startup claims it has the potential to distinguish itself from a mainstream financial institution, uh, institutions. While the commission charge and transfer through the likes of PayPal and old-fashioned banks can be as high as 5 or 10% respectively. Mentor says that BIP's costs are less than $0.01 or sometimes even free. Free? Wow! Alright, now whereas a bank transfer can take days, its payment solution wraps things up in 5 seconds that fast. And while Ethereum and Bitcoin are not mobile ready, Minterm's platform is, 
The company argues that its solution is necessary as certain platforms are never going to change. Its white paper explains, PayPal will always have a high commission as, it, as its main goal is to protect buyers across the globe. Banks will never be able to speed up transfers as they are all just too different and need intermediaries to facilitate payments. Integration with Telegram The blockchain has recently announced that it is integrating with the Telegram Open Network, enabling Minter users to transfer any coins issued in its network to Tons blockchain. With one of the services Telegram plans to roll out, Time Payments, Minter users will be able to send and receive micropayments in Minter-based coins using the Lightning Network. This is the latest announcement to be made about the cooperation of Mentor and Telegram. Early adopters of the blockchain network have been able to pass Know Your Customer. Procedures via Telegram Password in the space of few minutes which was marked by Telegram on its official blog. Now, once Minter officially launches, the platform is planning to hold what it describes as the largest airdrop in Telegram's history, with users receiving BIP and other Minter issue um, and other Minter issued coins worth almost 1,000 bitcoins for those who sign up before October 31st, 2018. So. All right. In addition, the project is offering a 25% bonus to all users who top up their balance until October 19 this year. So that's 19, guys, UTC time. Okay. So that's 7, 7 UTC time. Now, in its white paper, Mentor says it is passionate about teaming up with a ton because its founders, Pavel and Nikolai Durov, are vocal advocates of freedom and independence. The startup wants to be developer-friendly, enabling new apps to be built to push the platform forward. Now, other features include username as addresses, meaning that crypto enthusiasts will no longer need to memorize long strings of random characters whenever they want to complete a transaction and future compatibility with payment systems such as Apple Pay and Android Pay. So this will be very um, easy, right? Very easy to access because you don't need to memorize some passwords or username because uh, user uh, your addresses can be used as the username. So yeah, it is really friendly. Now, Mentor plans for BIP tokens to be gradually released over a seven-year period. Wow. All right. Now, guys, if you want to check the news for yourself, you can visit PCN.today. Again, PCN.today for current news and updates. For the second news for today, it's, um, it's also brought to us by PCN, or Preferred Currency News. CoinFloor becomes the first exchange license under groundbreaking um, what? Um, Gibraltar. Sorry if I um, pronounce it incorrectly. A Gibraltar legislation. All right. Now, the UK's oldest cryptocurrency exchange has become the first company to be licensed by Gibraltar's progressive blockchain legislation. The rules are a first for Europe and highlight the British Overseas Territory's commitment to exploring technological innovations. Gibraltar focusing on quality, not quantity. That's always the, um, the important thing, right? Okay, It's always quality over quantity. Coin, um, coin floor proves itself worthy. All right, let's find out. According to a report in the Financial Times, CoinFloor has proved itself worthy enough to receive the first license from Gibraltar, Gibraltar under its groundbreaking blockchain legislation. The exchange will be regulated as a distributed ledger technology or DLT provider. 
just as they did with the online gambling early this century, Gibraltar have taken the lead when it comes to legislating the digital currency and blockchain startup space. The British Overseas Territory has long been an attractive location for virtual casinos since it demands incredibly low taxes from the firms based there. With the blockchain-specific rules introduced earlier this year, they are hoping to have similar successes with companies focusing on the fintech innovation. The legislation is a first for Europe. However, the likes of Malta have been working on similar, um, similarly attractive regulations to try and lure startups to the island. Some believe that Malta will eventually prove a more suitable hub for blockchain firms to base themselves since there is considerable uncertainty over how Gibraltar will be impacted by the UK's decision to leave the EU next spring. So OB Nwusu, the CEO of CoinFloor, commented on the new license to the Financial Times. He told the publication that the exchange platform was tested on the nine principles. The aim of these is to ensure the firm's license in Gibraltar have sufficient anti-money laundering, AML, and know your customer KYC protections in place. That's good to know. We're safe, right? The exchange also had to prove its security is robust enough to withstand the kind of cyber attacks that have plagued the cryptocurrency exchange industry over the years. Okay, now, M. Wusu commented on the licensing process under Gibraltar's new legislation. He said, what impressed us was that this legislation was in the works for a long time. It's been well thought out. Uh, it's been well thought out, um, well, cons- well considered. They are focusing in on quality over quantity. Despite landing the first license of its kind from Gibraltar, like many companies, Coinlore has been having something of a hard time during the bear market of 2018 this year. So in the wake of lessening demand, the UK exchange platform has had to lay off around 40 jobs. Ah, okay. And Wuzu commented on the restructuring. It's never desirable to make these changes, but it's natural part of the market cycle. The market has contracted and you should make appropriate changes to your team. It's happening across the space. Yes, I agree with him on that because um, changes are, con- it's the only constant thing in this world, right? If it's for the better, then go for it, all right? So, and and I also agree on the term that it's always quality over quantity because um, how can you use quantity or many things but doesn't have any good qualities on it, right? Okay, so guys, that's it for the news for today. Now, I hope that you will be checking out this website, rather, it's pcn.today. All right. Um, I always I always visit this site because it gives me um, updates and what is the what is happening around the currency cryptocurrency world. So I suggest or to those who are having their research or doing their research, I suggest you visit this site because it's really reliable. Okay, PCN that today, or if you want to. If you want to be the first one to get notified of the news and updates, even you you haven't seen our videos yet, but you were you already know um, the currency and the updates by just subscribing to preferredcurrency.news. Yes, that's that's it. You heard me right. If you subscribe preferredcurrency.news, you will be the first one to get notified of the new updates. That's using your preferred method. You can use PayPal for a monthly recurring $15 only, $15 per month, fiat, or use the Coinbase option here, shown below. All right. 
below for $180 only. That's annual subscription to be paid with crypto. Okay, guys? Again, it's preferredcurrency.news. All right? You'll be the first one to get notified. And even if you haven't checked the videos yet in YouTube, in our channel, you can be updated via email even before the day with our videos, right? So you will be the first one to get notified and you can tell your friends about the news and currency, uh, the news and updates that you have read or that we sent to you or that preferred currency news sent to you already, right? Okay, now guys, don't forget or you can also follow Donald Lewis and Twitter for those Twitter users out there. Uh, you can search at preferred crypto again at preferred crypto and then you can also have the latest news and updates because donald lewis always update his sta status on twitter he always tweets so if you want you can follow him all right okay and what else here this is also for newsletter if you want to search a good newsletter you can use preferredcurrency.news archive.aweber.com and this site guys is very useful actually this is the first site that i visited and then when i saw this site it gave me a lot of options okay we always want that one right we always have uh, we always want to have a lot of options because having a lot of options having a lot of quality options we can decide what's best for us right okay now for this side for this newsletter um they they had given a lot of potential or useful or reliable websites that we can visit like preferredcurrency.news like this one right the twitter account of donald or the preferred crypto this one preferredcurrency.news um, marketplace.pcn in marketplace.pcn today you can place your additional listings for you out there who has products and services right now if you wish to become a web subscriber now i told you that you can subscribe to preferredcurrency.news next if they also offer if you can if you want to change some us dollars into bitcoin so that you can get, transfer the bitcoin to binance exchange you can change your bitcoin into eos if you wish so the sites that are available in this website so just imagine guys there's a lot if you want what to do with your eos your currencies or if you want how to get um here i read something here that you can also earn extra tokens for referring others to this exchange now free online marketplace right so with that with only one site just imagine with only one site you can do a lot of things you can search a lot of things you can visit a lot of websites for added information for your research all right i know and i hope that you will decide after your research okay so guys that's it for today this has been alex now signing off and i hope you will be watching my other videos See ya!